Hello again, everyone, and welcome back for the March 2024 Sky Report. My name is Vanessa, and I will be your Sky Guide again this month. First up this month is the beginning of Daylight Saving Time on March 10th. If you have clocks that don't change on their own here in California, advance them forward one hour. This time change brings the sunset an hour later compared to the previous day. On March 14th, the moon will pass by the Pleiades, an open cluster in Taurus. The Pleiades is visible to the naked eye, so search for it next to the bright moon. If the bright moon blocks out the cluster, binoculars will be the best way to see this event. A telescope may give you too zoomed in of an image, depending on what kind of telescope you have. Here we have a close-up image of what the Pleiades and the moon will look like through some low-power binoculars. Even binoculars with 10 times magnification will give you a pretty fantastic view. The first day of spring is on March 19th at the vernal equinox. On this day, the sun will pass right through the celestial equator, which is the Earth's equator projected onto the sky, at local noon, or at the zero RA line that you can see in this image. On March 24th, Mercury is at its greatest eastern elongation. This means it's as far from the sun in our sky that it can be in the nighttime direction. Try to catch a view of Mercury after sunset on this evening. It may be tricky because Mercury still likes to stay close to the sun, but just keep trying. On March 24th into the early morning of March 25th, there will be a penumbral lunar eclipse. There are two types of shadow, the deep umbral section and then the penumbral section that's not quite as dark and behaves a little bit differently. During a full lunar eclipse, the moon turns red when the moon passes through the umbra. This lunar eclipse will not turn red, but the moon will get darker. The effect will be subtle, but since you know it's coming, you'll be able to see it. The eclipse begins at 9.53 p.m. on March 24th and ends at 2.32 a.m. on March 25th. And here is your lunar calendar for the month of March. Last quarter is on the 3rd. The new moon is on the 10th. The first quarter is on the 16th. And the full moon is on the 25th. That's all I have for March. Don't forget to put those clocks ahead. I'll see you again in April.